Good day, human Latios audience. This is Latios Zubro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let's begin. Last time, we faced the Winking Bulbasaur. This time, there's the Winking Jigglypuff. Alright, so for this stage, I'm pretty sure Mega Beedrill will do really well, especially for those of you who have candied it up. I did not candy mine up, so it's probably not going to end up doing all that well. I only have three candies and this thing takes 12, I don't think it's worth it. This might be my next candied mon, I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. But I'm actually going to try to stop Mega Beedrill anyway and see what we can do. Apparently Mega Beedrill did really well against Bulbasaur as well, which definitely makes sense. But you know, Mawai will never Mega Evolve at this rate, so hey. Okay, there are Jigglypuff right here. It's like it wants me to go for the Winking Jigglypuff. It has Eject Plus. That's actually not bad. And we would have already Mega Evolved if we had gone for the candies on Mega Beedrill. That said, I'm just going to go for the Mega Evolution. It's like it's asking me to do this. All right. Okay, now we can get the Mega Evolution. It's just, I don't know if it's worth it, necessarily. I'm doing it. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the Dialga instead. Alright, you're doing that, so I'm just gonna actually get rid of all these Jigglypuff. Even though I probably should have actually gone for the, uh, this Jigglypuff. There we go. Alright, so five moves remaining. Could be worse. Pretty sure you could beat this in one move if you have the Mega, if you have the, um, Mega Speed Ups on your Beedrill. I do not, as I've said. But, you know what, perhaps Mega, maybe the, um, the Jirachi, um, Mawile could also work out here. Alright, 33% catchability. One in three. You don't want to be caught. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I'm not going to Great Ball it because there's really not much else to do today. At all. <laughs> so, let's just try this again. In fact, maybe I'll try it with something else. I'm actually going to try it with the with the with the Mawile Jirachi set. I don't have any candies on my Mawile, so once again, it's not going to do very well. Then, if this doesn't work, then I'll try it with the um, with the uh, Gengar. Okay. Um. Okay, no Mega Boost there, unfortunately, but I think we are in very good shape. In fact, I think we've got this. There's the Mega Evolution, which somehow ended up being quicker than Beedrill for us, go figure. You're gonna add more stuff, I can't get rid of that easily because of uh, Mawile, but... Hmm. Alright, so we're actually going to do just as well. If I would have gone for the right Jigglypuff in the first attempt, probably we could have done it quicker. Probably not possible. Possibly not probably. I don't know. Either way, we're going to see if we can catch this. We're going to 33% again. Then I'll try this with Gengar. I mean, Rayquaza is resisted, so it's probably not worth it. Unless we actually catch this. We're not going to catch this. Jigglypuff, what is with you today? What is with you, Jigglypuff? You don't want to be caught, do you? You just don't want to be caught. The Puff doesn't want to be caught. Alright, you know what? I am going for the Gengar, then. 
Although probably Gyarados would make more sense. I think it, like, while it's candied, it'll take one fewer icon than Gengar. Gengar would be just as good. But, you know what? I like using shiny Pokemon for whatever reason. Maybe for Halloween they'll put out a shiny Gengar. Shiny Mega Gengar would be kind of cool. I don't think they actually will, though. Alright. 13 moves once again. Here we go. Alright. Uh, no power of uh, 4 plus, but that's okay. We do have that eject plus to help us out, so there's that. Hmm. Alright, so here's the Mega Evolution. Now, we just need big combos. So yeah, Gyarados did a lot better than uh, Bawile. Which makes sense, because with Mawile you kind of have to go for Jirachi, and if you want it to Mega Evolve. And it already takes a while to Mega Evolve, assuming you don't candy it. And honestly, why would you use your candies on, on Mawile, of all the Mega Evolutions out there? Okay, so 39%. That is better than last time. But Jigglypuff still doesn't want to be caught! Oh my goodness, Jigglypuff! What is with you? What is with this puff? Seriously. You know what? This is what I'm going to do with Gengar. If you're going to do this a bunch of times, it might as well change it up. Might as well change it up if we're going to do this. All right. And we're getting, like, no combos in the first move. So far, this is already looking pretty bad. This will at least give us a uh, combo into the Metagross. Oh, boy. Well... Here's the Mega Evolution, plus boost, and no Mega Effect, because that would require luck. Alright. Let's go for the Gengar. Seven moves left. Okay, well that was, that was okay, considering the beginning. I'll take it. All we have to do now is actually get this thing to stay in the Pokeball. If it breaks out this time, then I don't even know. 39%! Alright, Jigglypuff. You want to be caught. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Alright, we have one more heart. <laughs> okay, let's pick a different Mega. Even though I'm pretty sure, um... You know what? I don't think I'm gonna go with the super effective Mega. Gyarados Mega Evolves in one fuel remove than Gengar, I think. So I'm just gonna go Gyarados again. I'm not going Rayquaza because it's resisted. So... This time, I'm just going to Great Ball it if I have to. That simple. Alright. Let's get the Eject off. There's the Mega Evolution. We also have a combo into it, which is... Eh. I'll take it. Alright. And 
And let's finish it off with the power of four. There we go. Power of four plus, whatever. All right. Eight moves remaining. This time, I'm predicting we're gonna catch it because we're gonna catch it. <laughs> um, I don't have to tell you, 42%, best probability yet. We're still gonna miss in the Pokeball, I can already tell you because this thing doesn't want to be caught. No, we're gonna catch it in the Pokeball. It took five tries, but we're gonna catch this thing. All right, Gyarados, nice job. Got the S rank. It has the attack power of 40, the ability eject plus, and the fairy typing. With that, we have S rank captured the winking Jigglypuff. Okay, that Jigglypuff just wanted to give us trouble, and it did. But whatever. So I guess next time we'll end up seeing the Winking Clefairy. That'll be on Monday. I wonder what it's gonna have. It's probably gonna have... Oh, it's probably gonna have Cloud Clear Plus or something. I don't know, I mean, ability-wise we've seen weird things, but... I mean, there's five types of disruptions. There's rocks, blocks, clouds, barriers, and coins. Eject plus gets rid of um, non-support Pokemon, so I guess you can also get non-support. There's really no nothing to clear out coins because you really wouldn't want to clear out coins, so that makes no sense. So it's probably going to have something like that, unless it's going to have... Because they all seem to have plus abilities, so that would be the only one that makes sense. I don't know. Also, Rockify and Blockify are both abilities now. I'm still waiting for Skill Swap Meowth to have Coinify, so, um, GS, make that a thing. Then I'm sure Ampharos, uh, experience grinding will come to a whole new level of coin grinding, since you could probably get more coins from that than you could from, uh, <laughs> from the, uh, Stage 37 Meowth. So it probably would break the game in terms of coin grinding, but I still want to see that happen. Maybe is the last possible thing they do. Although, once again, at that point, it wouldn't make any sense, because if you already have everything, what do you need coins for? Except, I guess you could always keep going with, if competition still come out, or if you wanted to get coins to do the, uh, uh, mission cards you didn't do already, or if you want to do, I don't know, the, um, survival mode. I don't know, but GS, make Coinify a thing. Really, do it. Please. That's it. I'll see you guys next time when we go after the winking Clefairy. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!